Hello lovely people. This morning I would like to respond to a new question which I see quite often and the question is does aquaponics smell? I believe uh, one of you already have an aquaponic system you know the answer. So this is uh, gonna be for the new buy or for people who are just interested but they are not really sure if aquaponics is for them. And I can understand the question because if you look at most of all the animals that you can have, especially in a city, well, you always wanna make sure it doesn't have any, any problem with the neighbors, but you also wanna make sure it's not gonna have some disadvantages before you, you, you get it, before you start. And if you look at all the other animals, uh, you know, like chicken, rabbits, anything that is uh, kind of small that you can get at home and that doesn't make too much noise, depending how you grow it, depending on the conditions, it may smell. For instance, chicken, if you, if you keep, the, keep them in a good environment, there is no issue. There is no smell. However, um, if you have too many chicken, if the chicken coop is wet, they don't have enough space, then obviously with all the waste that is generated, uh, it may smell a bit. So chicken, and especially if you keep them inside, chicken, rabbit, all those animals that you keep inside, they smell, right? Even uh, if you look at a certain extent, the cats, the cat is very clean, but you know you have to, to keep some device inside for the cat to to do um, to poop in and everything. And this can smell depending on how often you need to clean it. So I guess people are, are are wondering if having an aquaponic system can be can generate some smell that wouldn't be nice. And actually. If you compare to a pond, you know, some ponds, sometimes, depending how you maintain the pond, you may have some mud on the bottom of the pond, and when it turns anaerobic, uh, it can release some smell. So I understand the question. And to respond to the question, we need to understand what we are dealing with here. Um, here we are dealing with an ecosystem that is um, that is working really well. I mean, that's the aim of aquaponics is to maintain the, the ecosystem in the best condition. So when you design your aquaponic system properly, you will have a fish tank, but the fish tank is gonna be pretty clean. Uh, no mud on the bottom or anything like this. So it doesn't generate any of the smell that you can have. Uh, in a natural pond or you know in a dam when you go swimming and you can s smell this uh, this um, this anaerobic gas here you don't have this also we raise the water to some grow beds and in the grow beds we have some devices called uh, bell siphon well, I'm talking about flood and drain backyard aquaponics. That's what I do in all my videos, or most of my videos at least. Well, in this grow bed, we have a device that maintains the grow bed anaerobic because it maintains the water level up and down, uh, which means that everything is breathing. So nothing, you know, you don't have any, you can't have any bad smell that is generated from a, a, an efficient aquaponic system. Now, for people who design an aquaponic system poorly, or who design it without bell siphon, make mistakes, then it may be possible to have some smell. But first, the system wouldn't work and the fish would die. So you can't have a working aquaponic system that smell. So there is no, there is no problem from this perspective. The only thing you may be able to smell is that when you go, to, like when you go to a forest, you smell the hummus. It's 
smells really nice, it smells fresh, it smells nature. You may smell this on the grow bed because you got some biological activity, you got all the plants around and all this generate oxygen and, uh, and can create some aroma, you know, all the aroma from the plants, all this smells really nice, you know. You look at the uh, impatient I have there at the back. See those plants there? Those flowers? All this, of course, it generates a smell, but it's, it's a beautiful, lovely, and positive smell. Nothing negative. So for all of those who are wondering if aquaponics is for them because they are scared to have something that needs uh, or will generate uh, some negative smell, uh, no, there is no problem. You can go for it. You will have no issue with smell. It is really the opposite. It brings harmony in the backyard, you know. It brings positive, positive energies. Look at this. You want this in your backyard? I think yes. It's just positive. Of course, it's generating a lot of food, but it's also generating some good vibration in your backyard. Something you really want to look towards every day when you are at home. If you have some windows that are going through this this pond, this ecosystem, you always want to have a look at this. And that's where everything is happening. That's where birds are coming, drinking, insects are coming around, flying around, you know. I'm talking about very nice things, you know. Dragonfly. A lot of very positive things are happening here around. So don't stress about any smell or anything like this. There is no such a thing. It will generate a smell on the barbecue when you cook your fish. <laughs> that will generate a very nice smell. And actually, if you, if you have uh, the equipment, you can also uh, smoke the fish. You put it in the smoker on the barbecue. And you can hot smoke it or you can cold smoke it. You know, like when you eat... Uh, smoked salmon. You do the same thing with the trout. It's very, very nice. So this smells a lot. It smells very well, very nice, very beautiful. Actually, if you do this, all your neighbors will be jealous. <laughs> you can, of course, share with them. Uh, but that's the only kind of smell you're going to have with aquaponics. You will not have any muddy, ugly smell. As long as you design it properly, and it's working. If you have an aquaponic system without a bell siphon that is poorly designed and that smells, let us know as well. It's going to be an interesting feedback. And if you haven't started uh, aquaponics, it's time to do it. It's never too late. It's always a good time to start. If you're interested in aquaponics, I recommend you to join the movement, join the aquaponics revolution movement, where I send tips, information, updates on what we are doing here. Um, so if you want to know more, you can just subscribe. There is a link into the description of the video. You just enter your email and then you will receive all my updates mostly aquaponics information. So it was a short video. Let me know what you think, guys, if you have any other opinion or anything to add to this uh, on the comment section. We'll be very happy to, uh, to read you and to share some thoughts. I wish you a lovely day. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.